field lined up for the fifth race the second metal and space elimination with thirty five thousand dollars here they come and they're off the favorite entries cypress creek part of it leaving on the outside space shuttle shows some speed and towards the inside stutz pan is out quickly from between horses sign of success is there in the chase but it's space shuttle and dubay clears the top off stride the five alma hurst caesar makes an early break there and stutz pan settles in second now sign of success is third with cpw in fourth falcon's icon is fifth past the quarter mile Cypress Creek is parked out sixth. Robust Art is seventh. Art's Conquest parked on the outside eighth, followed by Total Chaos. And far back, the early breaker was Alma Hurst Caesar. First quarter, a very quick 26 seconds. Space Shuttle at five to two with Dubé leading the way down the back stretch. Stutz Pan in second with Sign of Success wrestled back in the third spot, inching up first over. Cypress Creek is into fourth now. CPW back to fifth. Lachance following cover, Arts Conquest following his entry mate from second over now and getting into it, Robust Art behind that one. Shuffled back is CPW now along with Falcon's Icon and then it's Total Chaos and the half was 56. So into the wind, a breather there for Space Shuttle leading it by a length and a half. It's still Space Shuttle and Stuntspan 1-2. First over Cypress Creek trying to carry his entry mate into the race. Arts Conquest now fires to the outside with Robust Art. Sign of success looks for racing room on the inside. Three quarters, 124 and three, but Space Shuttle looks to speed pop the field here to get away from them. But out of the pocket comes Stutzpen after a perfect trip. But here comes Sign of Success on the outside. And Luke Willette has a handful here. Sign of Success will upset and romp away from Stutzpan and Arts Conquest in 151 and three. Number six, Sign of Success, a three-year-old Bay Colt by Life Sign who was the first to sire one, two finishers in the pace last year. And the winner day in a life. This colt is out of the Jate Lobel mare, loving success. Trained in the Duane Marfisi stable by Monty Gelrod. Winning owner, Ed Mullinex of Amherst, Ohio. Third win of the season. Three in a row after winning two straight at Woodbine. Scores in his Big M debut here in 151 and 3 a new lifetime best for sign of success who saved ground all the way and came bursting on through full of pace for Luke Willette it's official 6 sign of success pays 1389 20 and 380 3 stutz pan 78320 1A arts conquest 240 Exacta 63 9580 631 trifecta $325.60. The pick three, three of three, $1,000. And Bob Hollywood Hayden has the winning driver, Luke Ouellette. We're in the winner's circle with Luke Ouellette. Last year, let's see, Luke Ouellette, Monty Gelrod, and Life Sign combined for Day in the Life to win the final. This year, we're in the eliminations with Sign of Success. Now, Jack didn't drive his horse before. Have you driven him before? No. Uh, as a matter of fact, first time I ever looked at him tonight. Okay, and what, what did you think going into the race? What was your strategy? Well, I was hoping to pace out of there, and I thought that there'd be a horse or two from the outside. They, they would leave as well. I'd uh, either one up in a two or three all. Uh, as it turned out, uh, it wasn't looking very good in the first turn, but we were fortunate a horse made a break, and uh, we got into a spot. Okay, and they went uh, a, a relaxed second quarter. The wind playing a big factor here? Oh, definitely. Uh, the backside there, it's really windy. Uh, I was trying to hide behind my horse a little bit, uh, but... That was, that, that was good for everybody to go the second quarter slow like that. Okay, space Shuttle now was away by three lengths early stretch. What were you thinking there? Where were you? Well, my horse felt good around the last turn, and I was real as, realizing the horse I was first up was putting in the first step, and I probably was going to get out. You know, I didn't know if a horse would come flying from behind to beat us or whatever, but my horse felt good, and it looked like he was going to get a chance. And when you got after him, he just paced away from the field? Yes, he did. He was very well uh, winning himself. It was as easy as it looked in the last eighth? Yeah, no, really, under the wire, you felt good there. Uh, you know, 
he, he felt good. He, he benefited of a good trip, you know, when that horse made a break and uh, didn't have to do much work and just pacing the lane there. But uh, he's got some class, and uh, I was really happy to drive him. The featured event is coming up the seventh. Mystical Shark is he the real thing? Yeah, I believe he is. But you know, uh, I don't have a crystal ball in my hands. You know.